Hey, I'm Jason from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Night Shift Nurse. Now, I've played a lot of Night Shift games. I've never played a Night Shift game about a nurse, so I thought that was pretty interesting. I've been sick for the past six days, so I feel like I need a nurse instead of playing a game about a nurse. But here we are. Hopefully, it's not buns. Let's do this. So, we have a list of inpatients on the fourth floor. Pamela Safitri. Uh, hold on. Hello. How may I help you? Hello, nurse. Time to deliver medicine for a patient on bed Mawar 01. She is Miss Pamela Safitri, 65 years old. She is Dr. Edwards' patient. Who? Oh. Medicine list has been sent to your computer. Please check, then forward to the pharmacist. After that, you need to wait until they call you to confirm that the medicine is ready. You got me? I got you back like chiroprac. All right. So we're using the computer. Doing a little beep bop, boop bops. Checking the medicine list. All right. Viagra. And now I just wait for the phone call. I feel like it's like super zoomed in. Like, I have no, like, space. I feel like I can't breathe. But here we go. Hello. How may I help you? Hello, nurse. Medicine order for Miss Pamela Savitri is ready. Please come to the pharmacy and pick up the order. Sure. No problem. The pharmacy. Here we go. Yeah, give me that good shit. Okay. So, Pamela Savitri is in room one. She said that on the phone, didn't she? So I'm sick, everybody. I guess I need to rest up. This is... What? What's Angrek? Angrek 1? That's not it. Is this it? S uh, oh, Mawar 1. Okay. I'm here. Oh, is this you, Miss Petri? All right. Here we go. Excuse me. Yes, nurse. Medicines for Miss Pamela Safitri. Oh, it's for my mom. No, I thought it was for you. Of course I know who it's for. All right, Mr. Fitri. What do I do now? Whoa, that's creepy. What happened? Oh, no. What's going on? Uh, Mawar 1. I'm coming. I'm coming, Mr. Fitri. Come on. What? Oh, I have to call. Hello. How may I help you? Hello, nurse. The infusion bottle is running out. Could you replace it with the new one? Thanks before. Thanks before, but what about thanks after? What does that even mean? Okay, how do I replace the bottle? Yeah, it's like super zoomed in, everybody. So I feel like I'm seeing everything like super up close. And I just need this shit to take a step back. Thank you for that. This game is supposed to be scary because the thumbnail that I saw was a nurse getting scared by some random hand. But I'm the only one lending hands out here. Excuse me. Yes, nurse. The infusion bottle is empty. Please replace it. Yeah, I will. Calm down. You're giving me all that attitude. I'm the one doing all this infusion bottle replacing. Have you replaced the infusion bottle with the new one? You have eyes, don't you? Yes, I did. Okay, thank you. Nurse, is there someone else in the next bed? Oh, Jesus. None. It's vacant. Something happens? No, but I heard a little boy crying. He was crying continuously. I think he is just alone. Could you check? Oh, God. Are you kidding me? It's dark here. I should turn on the light. What light? Oh, this light? Oh, God damn! Okay. <laughs> boy? Are you okay? You okay, boy? dramatic are we ending one out of nine how am i supposed to find eight other endings how am i supposed to get nine endings to this game i feel like it's just gonna repeat the same stuff no i mean it said continue so maybe some new stuff's gonna happen like with angus sell it bima printland putri patricia and tata dado hello how may i help you hello nurse time to deliver medicine for a patient on bed mawa one she is miss pamela safitri 65 years old how am i supposed to get all the other endings i'm assuming that one of the other endings is to not check on that little bitch that's crying next door because that's not my job that's not my jurisdiction i don't give a shit about that and i don't care if you give me those eyes you are not going to get the satisfaction of me checking pamela's daughter you understand that i'm getting the hell out of here so i'm just gonna stay over here and let's just see what happens. Because it says that this game has nine endings. So this shit better not be lying to me. Okay, so I'm just chilling here with my thumb in my ass. And nothing's happening after a few minutes. So, 
I can't go anywhere. I feel like I do have to check on that boy. It's dark here. I should turn on the light. I am going to turn on the light. But, yeah. Oh, wait, nobody's there. No one here. Oh. Okay. Bro, shut the door, too. Oh, that's creepy. Yo, that's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Hello? Always with that damn breathing, huh? Don't bother me! Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did that get me? Okay, let me see something real quick, everybody. What if I turn the light on? Oh, I can't even turn the light on. So, I wonder if this is time-based, because I let some time pass before I went to check on this little bitch, and then he ended up not being back there. But what if I do it right away? Oh my! What the? Yo! Every time I continue, it's something new. What do I... What do I click on? Do I close the curtain? I don't understand why there's blood all over the walls. Like, what? You can all hear me clicking my tits off, right? I'm trying to figure out what do I do. Like, I want to know the backstory of what happened to this kid. Because it is actually interesting. But... I feel like I have to go back to the main menu or something. Okay, let me go back to the main menu and restart this game. Okay, so I'm gonna check on the bed again. Last time, it opened up to the mom over the kid's body. Yep. There we go. What am I supposed to do? Don't tell me it said there was nine endings, but I got bamboozled. Don't do that to me. Because I will not accept it. I won't. Bro. Come on. What's going on? Okay, I'm getting the same shit. I can't do anything. I'm like inspecting every single pixel of this bitch. But nothing's gonna happen. Can you at least come up and jump scare me or something? Okay, so in that last game, I was promised nine endings and I only got three. So that developer owes me six more. But we are gonna try out another game because you all deserve that. I deserve that too. This one's called Stay Away From The Lighthouse, which is exactly why I'm walking towards the lighthouse. Time to get this old lighthouse fired up. Can't keep those ships waiting. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't give a ship about those ships. And yes, that was a pun, and I don't care. But let's get my sleeping bag. I'm not tired. I don't care. I wanna take my afternoon nap. The White Ship by H.P. Lovecraft. The previous lighthouse keeper had good taste. But what happened to the previous lighthouse keeper? Let me check this map. Okay, uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. No lie, everybody. You would need to pay me a big amount of money to make it up these stairs every single day, because hell no. I'm over here huffing and puffing. I'm not even actually going up the stairs. But let's turn on this lighthouse. I should refill the generator first. Oh, I thought it was going to tell me I need to do some foreplay, but the rain sounds are really relaxing, everybody. I used to fall asleep to rain sounds. I would just type in, like, rain sounds on, like, a New York City apartment. And then I would just, like, sleep to that. It had, like, the coolest noise, too. Like, you know when the water hits the windowsill? Whew. I need fuel. Okay, bitch, stop yelling at me. Where do I get the fuel thing? I guess I need to go back to my house to get the fuel can. There it is. There you are, my love. You picked up the fuel can. Yes, I did. I like how enthusiastic the writing is. Let me fill that up. Okay. And now we can finally turn on the lighthouse. I wish it would tell me all that before I make it up these stairs, but hey. Let's turn this on. There we go. This is pretty. This is mighty pretty. So, I can't let the ships down. Where are they? I already turned on the lighthouse. Can't do anything. Whoa! What? Oh, crap! Bro, I had one job. There's the ship. That looked like that Titanic Jr. or something. Okay, hold on. Do I have to replace the light bulb? Oh, fuck. Uh... One second. I'm coming. Can anyone hear me? Something's after me. I need help. Please, someone. This is Echo Point Lighthouse. How can I assist you? Thank God. Look, I'm lost. And all the nearby lighthouses have gone dark. I can't see a thing. 
And there's something out here chasing me. What is chasing you? I don't know. Something big emerged from the freaking water. Please, I need to get to you. I can't stay out here. Can you turn on your boat's headlight? Yes, hold on. Look for boats. Uh, I already saw the boat. There you are. Okay, thank you for doing that. Can you see my boat? I can see you. I left my map in my cabin. Stay where you are. Okay, but please hurry. I don't want to die out here. Go down for the map. I'm going. <laughs> Hold tab to check the map. Are you here? Yes. Can you describe your surroundings? Any landmarks? I can see a cross-shaped boulder in front of me, and behind me there is an island that is almost underwater. Where should I go? So, what do you see? You see a cross-shaped boulder? You're talking about this boulder, right? And then there's shallow water. So, Echo Point Lighthouse would be... Oh, wait. Cross-shaped boulder. Hold on. I see a cross-shaped boulder in front of me. And behind me, there is an island that's almost underwater. Okay. I guess go to the island behind you. Yeah, go to the island behind you. The water's too shallow. I can't go there. Okay, then go to the cross boulders. Got it. I'm heading over there now. I guess this game is dumbass proof because I chose the wrong thing and it still made me do the right thing. But there you go. Wait, the cross-shaped boulders? Hold on. There's different cross-shaped boulders? Okay, that's the cross-shaped boulders. And then I said go back, so go behind. I'm at the cross-shaped boulder. I can't see much. There are two big boulders in front of you. Head over there carefully. Watch the boat. So, am I just watching this dude do his job? Because I'm doing a shitty job, but this game is overriding my decisions. But I'm watching this guy. He's doing a pretty good job. He's like a professional boat driver. Goddamn. Bro's like the Michael Phelps of boat drivers. The Michael Jordan of driving the ships. Okay, I can see a L-shaped island, and I can barely make out a shipwreck in the distance. L-shaped island, okay. So we're not taking an L right now. Head towards the shipwreck, go to the L-shaped island. Yeah, go to the L-shaped island, all right. Let me watch the boat do that, I guess, because this game really loves me watching. That's the L-shaped island, but we take no Ls around here. And you're almost at the lighthouse. Yeah, can you hear me cheering for you? Before I go on the radio, you're at the L-shaped island, so you need to make a left. And then everything is going to be good. God damn it! What happened? The water was too shallow. My boat stuck. Say nothing. Why don't I say something? I don't get it. That water doesn't even look shadow at all. Stay away from the lighthouse. What? What the f- Yo, what the fuck? Look, we're not even going to talk about that last game right now because I don't even know what that ending was. We are going to play a game called Abduct. It's not abducted. It's abduct. Where we have to take care of like a little duck egg. And I don't know who those people are, especially that kid. I'm not paying child support on that. But let's see what we got going on here. No, nothing. We don't got anything going on here. Just like we don't have any furniture in this bitch ass house. Okay. Let me check the door and let me read the note to whom it may concern quack thanks let me put this basket in my house i like it hey it's simple sometimes the best things to say are nothing at all okay place on table press what whoa okay hey what's up dude what do you want me to do? Okay. Hey, hold on. I'm your father. Go to your room. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're going to go on the couch. Okay, I thought this bitch was going to go on the couch and start watching TV. I was going to say. You better not be using the toilet. You better wipe your own ass. What do you want? Do you want to go? Oh, fill the tub. Okay. Dude wants to swim around. He wants to do what his duck instinct want him to do. This is cool. Hey, I'm not mad at it. Okay. Yeah, I see you strutting your stuff. Fresh out the shell already going in the bathtub. Okay, yeah. Yeah, do what you gotta do. What do I gotta do, though? Nothing. Just fades to black. Oh, I guess that was a dream. That's the weirdest dream ever. <laughs> that is the weirdest freaking dream. Wait. Do I really have a duck? No, I don't. Oh, I do. What? 
How did you grow up already? You want to eat Frosted Flakes? All right. Quaker Oats. No, it's Quacker Oats. I get it. What the heck is this game? I guess we'll call him Doug. Doug the Duck. Does that sound cool to everybody? I don't know what else to name him, but I guess I just watch you eat Quacker Oats? What about me? When's it my turn? I'm gonna eat this dude for Thanksgiving. I don't care. Watch me. What? What is this? Beak polish? Pond size breeze? Whack? What? Where am I getting all this stuff? Doug? <gasps> Boss said, what the hell was that last email all about? You needing a tub of your workspace and all that? And also, you know, the room with the lake view is reserved for me, right? What? What is happening? I don't understand. It's because of this damn duck, isn't it? Where are you? I can't go out. Okay. That's fine. Hey! What are you watching in there? What is that? Get it. Abduct. It's me. I'm the one. Specimen human. Name Steve Reynolds. Assigned to Quacksifer. Wow. What a twist. Right, everybody? What a twist? Can somebody please tell me what a twist to make me feel better about myself? Bro, a random ass duck just abducted me. Like, it, that really is what a twist. It's what a twist! All right, everybody. Those were three random-ass games that I just played. I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. They made me feel a little bit better because they were so freaking random that it made me forget that I'm still sick. The most important thing, though, is that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!